Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. I did my workout this morning for half an hour. My incline went uh, from a, a, a 1.9 to a 4.3, between 4.3 and 5.9. I made the incline much higher today. My speed was 1.5. I walked for 30 minutes and I burned 155 calories and I went a little less than a mile. Now I was happy with that because by the end of that workout, I could feel my heart pounding and I was getting overheated and that's good for me. I don't want to push it because I have a bum knee, so I don't want to push it really fast my first week. Next week I'll ramp it up, I would think, and probably go on some other machines besides. Today I'd like to talk to you about taking action. And this, this term has constantly bothered me for many, many years. I've, I've listened to a lot of gurus tell people that you know you can have all the greatest ideas in the world, but unless you take action, you know, and put those put those um, ideas into play, you'll never get anywhere. Well, I disagree. Let me explain why. Yesterday I was at uh, one of the vlogs, and her message to people was about cheat sheets. I think it was Mina, Mina Bryant. And she talked about cheat sheets, and I agree with her. I like to do cheat sheets too. I don't care if it takes me 15 minutes to create that cheat sheet, and that 15 minutes could have been applied to like doing the first step or whatever. I don't care. Cheat sheets help me. It helps me remember what steps I need to take in order to get something done. So cheat sheets are great. In fact, when I, I shared one of the cheat sheets that I've done, you know, on her on her blog, Amanda shared one similar, and I noticed that Amanda did two steps that I did not. So I'm gonna steal those steps from Amanda, and I'm gonna plug them into my cheat sheet. However, I'm getting far off topic here. Today I wanna to talk to you about not taking action. I wanna to talk to you about something completely different, and the reason why is because Deborah Moser posted a comment on my blog, and she had a uh, title to her blog post that I clicked on and I went to visit, and it was, titled follow through the Kaizen way and I never heard what Kaizen I never heard Kaizen I, I, it's the first time I ever heard of it I'm like what is it so I went over to her blog to check it out now apparently Kaizen is a Japanese word and the translation of it is Kai means change and Zen means improvement so I thought wow that's cool and then she talked about follow through now the dictionary tells you that follow through is when you uh, create a project and you to its completion okay you do a project or you follow a continuous plan through to completion that's what follow through is so I'm thinking okay if follow through is a continuous plan to complete Kaizen is the same thing well what's this taking action all about people are constantly being told to take action in order for them to reach the goals that they want to reach online and that is not true okay let me explain why when I decided that I was going to do my workouts at Planet Fitness, I created a cheat sheet. I call it my fitness sheet. And it has the, the weight, incline, heart rate, calories burned, and so on and so forth. So I took action. When I decided that I was going to make this sheet, I went upstairs, I sat in front of my computer, and I booted up Adobe Illustrator, and I actually literally designed the sheet. I took action. Did it get me to where I wanted to go as far as my end goal, which was to walk? No, I took action to make the sheet, but I had to follow through now, get my coat and shoes on and go over Planet Fitness and actually be able to use this sheet. So what got me to my goal was the fact that I had to follow through, not take action. And the same thing applies with other things too, if you think about it. I could sit here and make dozens and dozens of cheat sheets. You know, step one, make the video, sit on the couch, make the video. Step two, you know, go upstairs plug it into the video editor and cut and splice it, you know, and step three, you know, render it as a WMV file. I took action, you know, by doing that, by sitting here and creating this video, I've taken action. By running up the steps and going on the computer and doing those steps to render it as a WMV, I have taken action. But did it get me to my end goal? No. I had to follow through now with those actions I had to log on to the internet, upload my video to YouTube, and actually get it placed on my blog. So it wasn't the action that got me to my end goal. It was following through, you know, the idea of 
continuing and completing this plan to get it up online for you to, to view. So that's my message today. I disagree. It's not action that gets you where you want to go. You can do all the action you want, but unless you're following through and getting it done till it's completed, you're not going to get anywhere. So what do you think? Leave a comment down below and let me know whether you agree or disagree and why. I'd be waiting for your response. Thank you so much. Have a nice day and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care.